Hey guys, welcome to this Train Sim TV video. Today we're taking a look at Vivid Games' new release, Suburban Glasgow Northwest Route. We're going to try one of the included scenarios, and that is Clydesdale Direct, I believe it is. Clydeside Direct, same thing. Well, not really, but you know what I mean. Um, sort it out, Mark. There we go. So I was messing with the camera there, trying to get paused and everything. So yeah, we're starting the Clydeside Direct scenario. This one goes from Glasgow Queen Street down to Springburn. It's a journey of about 27 miles. This route, you get about 45 miles worth of track and quite a lot of different areas of Glasgow and the northwestern side included, including Glasgow Queen Street high level and low level. So we're starting off here at Ellensburg Central. As it says up there in the top, this service will call at Cardross, Craigendorn and Dalvik. Dumbarton Central, Dumbarton East, Jordan Hill Park, Charing Cross, Glasgow Queen Street, High Street and Springburn. So we go through Glasgow Queen Street low level on this scenario, I presume. Well, obviously because the route doesn't have OHLA at uh, Queen Street high level. So, um, Starting off here at Ellensburg Central. Now for those that don't know, this was a freeway route originally. Um, so I know there's been a bit of a hoo-ha in the community about that. I'm going to try and view this from two points of view. So the point of view of somebody that's a newbie to train simulator because they want to know about the freeway route. So try and review it from the point of view of somebody that never you knew this route existed. And then also review it from the point of view of uh, those of us that have been in the uh, community for a lot of years. Um, you know, that uh, know more about it sort of thing. So starting off at Elms of Central, I would have made the point before that I feel like this could have been the major selling point for the route. I'm just going to get rid of the F1 thing. But I'm a little bit disappointed, not going to lie. People know how obsessive I get about Kuju stuff, and I do get a bit crazy about it. Um, I watched the dev video before from Ian, and let's just before I start this video as well, I want to say I have a, a massive amount of respect for Ian. He's a great developer, um, and I love his suburban Glasgow work. I love the work he's done, and I appreciate the work he's done as well for other people. Um... Obviously, I'm going to put those things aside for this review because I can't let that sort of thing get in the way of a review, really. So, just want to say that first. But secondly, I want to point this obviously at Vivid Games because I feel like this is more their point. This is not acceptable, really, for a 2020 payware release. This this station asset, I feel like it's just reskin Kuju stuff. It's pretty poor. I mean, that's the Bath Green Park. Just look at the state of that. It's the Bath Green Park um, over a roof. Now, if you're coming into a train team as a brand new person, you might look at that and say, oh, that's okay. But it's like completely the wrong colour in real life. It's white, I think, and it's pretty clean. Um, the, everything's low res. I just feel like this could have been your point where you sort of say, as a selling point, this is your, your, your sort of big station asset. Because the other ones have already been in TS and they've already been done by Thompson Interactive before. Who That's who Rivet Games were before they came with the games. Is Thompson Interactive's people there that will be a part of both. Um, so a lot of the stations such as Glasgow Queen Street High Level were already done by Rivet in inverted commas. Um, so this could have been the new asset I feel that could have really sold this route to me. But, you know, it's, I, I don't know exactly what you would do with that, but... Stuff like that, I don't know. It just doesn't scream quality to me. And people can say, well, okay, we've got a, a global pandemic on at the moment. You can't really go out and research stations. I, I, you know, I hear you with that. And I think that's a very, very fair comment. We've had that problem ourselves with research. Um, and Leicester and Loughborough stations particularly were not researched other than non-flicker. And there's little corners on there, there's some display boards and stuff missing at Leicester, we know about that. Um, but you could have, there could have been a decent enough job done that would have made it so it didn't look like this. I mean, I've, I've looked on Flickr myself to compare, um, to disappoint myself, basically, um, thinking what this could have been. So yeah, that's that's obviously playing my mind. And again, as I said, I'm going to look at it from the point of view of something that's new to train sim. What would they think? I don't really... Know what standards somebody new coming in this has these days. I think they'll probably say it's okay. I don't think anybody's going to come in and load this up and go, wow, look at that. I just don't think anybody's really going to come in and do that. But I mean, if that's your aim anyway, then I suppose it doesn't really matter, does it? Um, I'm hoping I can actually move this time. 
first thing to say about this unit as well, I've swapped in the AP unit. So I don't have the um, Rivet Games 320 and I prefer the AP one, so I've put that in. Just waiting for this uh, stop to finish at the moment. It's taking quite a while. Because uh, I sat with pause on for ages. So once this is finished, this will uh, carry on. But yeah, I mean, there's, there's obviously quite a bit of Kuju stuff going on because the free worthy used a lot of Kuju. Um, and it's obviously had a lot of revamping since that era from the videos I've seen of it. So. We'll see how we get on. I swear when I was sat here, by the way, I could hear a, a Taurus powering up in the ambient sound at the station, which was a bit weird. So I like keeps looping. I can just hear it now. It's every like 25 seconds, it's like a sound of a, a Taurus loops over and over and over. But this stop here is quite long. I've been here quite a while now. Um, trying to think of things I can say and I can't really say much. Trying to keep some things back so I can... Oh, there we go. Passenger, passengers now boarded the train. Please proceed at 0804 to the next time to stop at Craig and Dorvin, which is about a mile away. No, the brakes have released this time. When I tried this before, the brakes wouldn't release. I've still got no power. Why have I got no power? Have I, have I done something to this unit? Horn works. Ah, oh, the doors are open. That would be a good, uh, a good reason why, wouldn't it? Well played, Mark. Well played. There we go. Right, finally we're underway. So next stop, Craig and Darwin. So we head out of Ellensburg uh, Central. We're coming out of here. We're joining where the West Highland Line is at Craig and Darwin Junction, and that's where the junction is. We're going to join, go through the station first at Craig and Darwin. Straight away I'm noticing that there's now DTG trees at the side of the track. I know the original freeway route was just Kuju trees, so that's really good to see. Tracks are peculiar. One, it's sort of gone back to being DTG's original track. Uh, the OHLA, I think that's changed from the freeway route. But I mean, as I said before, I'm going to view it from two points of view. So if you are looking at this from the point of view of somebody that's just first tested to their first look at this route ever, I think they're going to be thinking it's pretty good. You've got all the little detail in the gardens, look. And I like that. I mean, I love the freeway route anyway, so why wouldn't I? So yeah, looking at this from the other moment, it's pretty decent. No real complaints about how it looks. As we get along, I'll talk about my thoughts with the thing going from freeway to payware and stuff like that. But um, so far, from the point of view of somebody that's just bought this and not, not known about the freeway one, absolutely no complaints, really. From the point of view of a train sim... I would say veteran, I would say somebody that's knows you know, has been around a while in train sim. Um seen a lot of like old buildings and stuff, but I can't really say they're detracted from the the quality and stuff. Capturing the atmosphere and that's what I would look for. So this is Craig and Dawn we're coming into. Must be a nice day in Clydesdale, where she's dressed. Hot day. So with the route, you get the Class 320 and 158, both of which obviously have been released, I think, previously. 
Um, so, not exactly a new, new piece of stock, but nice to see some stock included with it. I have no issue with that, really. This again is the Armstrong Powerhouse 321, not the one that's included with the Voot. I'm going to say that about 50 times. But the attention to detail is certainly there. I can't remember exactly what it looked like on the uh, original Voot. Things that do trigger me. Retextured Kuju platforms that are... Uh, they're not awful on top of that. I'm taking a screenshot instead of pressing pause. Not awful textures, not great at all either, but the brick on the front is pretty poor. Again, same sort of thing. It's it's not amazing. It's just about um, all right. I mean, you got the bit up to the West Highlands. That's the West Highland line that goes up there. Prefer the track on there to the to the track on here. I think uh, we've got a dockyard here. That's nice. Some uh, pretty cool low res. It's all kit bashed with sleeper plank bits, um, but it's really good how it's been done, and that's obviously a lot of attention to detail has gone into that. And again, the dockyard, it looks reasonably good. Uh, the disused docks. And I've got my FPS locked to 30, and it's running really smoothly, so that's good. So coming down to Craig and Doran, I'm going to shut the doors again. So coming up now to Craig and Doran Junction when we do leave here, and that's where we go on to double track line to run alongside the River Clyde. As with any boot in TS, you, got the sort of like, you can see in the distance, it's all really blank. And that's the issue of running sort of hilly routes or long distance routes in TS. You can't really do it about that. That's um, that's life, really, I guess. Continuing looks pretty good. At least from this position, anyway. I think if you go up to it, it's probably a little bit 2D-ish, but looks reasonably good. quite like the colours in the sky and stuff. It's sort of, it's, it's a stormy weather, so I'm guessing it's going to get really cloudy and stuff as we go along, but quite like the uh, lighting. This is the default lighting that comes with the view from Revit, so that's quite good. So this route, it was originally a freeway route. The suburban Glasgow route was developed by Ian who's uh, obviously involved with this heavily because it's his route. Um, and that route was a merged version of many others. It had bits from West Coast Mainline North, so you could do the old stuff in the South Glasgow. It had a different to Glasgow merged onto it. It had the section to Stirling, I think. And then definitely had the West Highland and West Highland extensions on there as well. So you could do all the way from Glasgow to Edinburgh. Fort William to Edinburgh, my legs to Edinburgh if you really wanted to. It'd take about three years, but you could. So, obviously, when this has been announced as being going payware, it's not exactly gone down amazingly in the community. My standpoint on that is I don't actually have an issue with it going from pay freeware to payware uh, at all. I, I don't mind it. Um. It would have been nice to see the original freeware route remain, because this is obviously cloned off the original freeware route. Um, and there was there's people making a hoo-ha out of comments that have been made in the past when on Ian's website where it said this route will be free and it'll always be free. I mean, if that's said, then it should be free and always be free. Even if you leave that one there and then put this one out as a payware for those who just want the payware route, let them have the payware route. Obviously, I'm, I'm, I'm guessing that sub suburban Glasgow is the in inverted commas freeway route because no route is really freeway because it requires a load of stuff. The suburban Glasgow freeway route required a lot of requirements in the first place, including a lot of payware stuff. So, no route is truly freeway. So, obviously, I, I personally expect that suburban Glasgow is going to return with this as part of it. So, I have, as I said, from a blank outset, I have no real issue with a route going from freeware to payware. Based on what I've seen from 
the various posts and what I saw at Helensborough, I don't feel like Rivet have put in the money in terms of the amount of custom assets that you would necessarily expect to bring it up to the standard of their Swiss stuff, for instance. For TS, I don't feel like that amount of investment has gone into it. And some would say, well, you don't really need to put that much investment into it. And obviously they've got to pay Ian and everything like that. And it's, it's obviously a completely different model. But when you're going from freeware to payware, to please those that you've already had on your cards before as users, and that was quite a few, I imagine, you're going to have to go some way. And I can see coming into here, we've got a Kuju station building straight away on the station. And people will say, what's the big deal about Kuju? And I don't really think there's a, a... I don't know. I'm not going to compare it to photos, but I can guarantee it doesn't look exactly like that building on there. I'd be amazed if it does. But I mean, you can, there's 43 stations on this route, so nobody's going to expect every one of those to have a custom build and everything. I don't think that's realistic. Because I think 43 stations in a route is a lot. Even Metline only are like 30 odd. But it doesn't look fantastic for, for a payware route. To see that for a freeware route. No issue at all. Freeware you got to understand that the person's doing it for free. And it's, if it's what they've got to, you know, at the, at the disposal. Um... No headlights, bad mark. When you're doing it for payware, it's obviously a bit different. It's a case of... Um, you got people's money at stake and stuff like that. People, people investing in it. And there they're investing in assets that are 13 years old. And I, I don't think if you're doing a payware, it's pretty poor. Some people won't mind. Again, I think it comes back to the, the, the point of view of it, it's been freeware, then it's come back out as payware. I don't know where I stand on it. It's a, it's a tricky one. I'm, I mean, the detail's superb. Just look at the uh, effort that's gone in up here with these gardens and stuff like that. The roads that trigger me, but... We'll ignore those. I don't know why I get so upset about those roads. But the the overall building is, is superb. I have absolutely no complaints with the way it's been put together. It's really, really nice. You can see the detail up here. It's, it's so well built. Not too much, not too little. And there are some pretty nice... I mean, this, this is some walls, I think. But it's been kit bashed, but it looks okay. Then overall, I mean, this looks decent enough down the side of the river. A little flyby, so as we go past here, start to rain. Don't know why I always end up doing these reviews in rain or fog or something like that. It was the one that started at Helensburg and seemed to do the full journey through, so I picked this one. I guess we're going to be struggling in the rain from now on. So yeah, looking at the map, we haven't looked at that yet. Helens were central down here. Helens were upper, and then that's where the Fort William line, Malay line goes off. You come down, you get Dumbarton and Dalwick down here. You got the branch to Balak included. The branch to Mungai up there. Then you got the two lines past Yoke, one past Yoke, and the other past Drum Chapel and um, Westerton. And the various sort of junctions around here. You get quite a lot. You get Glasgow Queen Street in the central centre area there with low level and high level. Um, Belgrove around the curve to Springburn as well. So you get a, a reasonable amount of track. You get about 45 miles, so that's not a problem for me. And uh, pricing wise, 20 quid until 5th of November, 24.99 from then onwards. And I think if this route had just come out today and we'd never seen it before as a freeway route, from that point of view again, looking at how it's built, I don't think I'd have heard any complaints. I think the Kuju thing would trigger me, but that triggers me anyway. 
It triggers me in routes that I've been involved with. So it's going to trigger me in everybody's routes. And that's more of a personal thing. Maybe some people don't see that as an issue. But I mean, uh, driving along here. Cracking detail. I can't really see much because it's raining, but... Cracking looking detail in there. Well put together. Again, I'll say it for the third time. This is the Armstrong Powerhouse Class 320 slash uh, 321. Not the one included with the Voot, which is the Rivet Games one. Next stop, Dalvia. Putting the dampen in an emergency. It's raining in the tunnels, apparently. But that's. By the by, I guess. Weather occlusions. Not a major thing. seen a lot of people calling for a 334 to have been included in this and I, I do join in those calls that it would have been nice to see. I think uh, making a train obviously is a pretty big task so if that had to be stopped because of COVID then fair enough. Um, I'd pay extra for it I think. I think I would. But it would have been nice to have seen one included but I think I'd... I'd from the developer point of side of things, I know that that probably won't be the easiest thing to do, so... Um, yeah. Point still sounds it would have been nice. Massively overshooting the free car stop. The sound of rain is going to do my head in. Right. Get the doors opened. Have another look around here. We'll be here for a minute, won't we? My point that I made from five previously, I've seen a few of these already, is this Kuju, to, Kuju uh, church appearing everywhere. It's an interesting pile of things. See, a lot of things have just been reskinned. But then that's not doesn't look necessarily bad because it's been reskinned, so I'm fine with that. I mean this station again it's one that's more or less Kuju ish. With odd bits. I think that's probably from maybe from Edinburgh Glasgow. I mean look at the textures on it. I'm not sure where that came from, but it's not exactly Not exactly payware quality, shall we say. No tail lights on, that's not payware quality, but we'll ignore that. Next stop then, Dumbarton Central. That's just literally on the corner here. You could see it on the, when I went forward a minute ago. Hopefully that's been done as a custom. Spend it there. Now I did faff about with the... I know what's happened here is because I had the missed the uh, DSD, DRA, whatever, you know, vigilance. Now, how do I fix that issue? Is the question. Trying to take the brakes on and off. Oh, there we go, I think the brakes are releasing this time. There we go. So yeah, next stop, Dumbarton Central. Absolutely chucking it down, typical Glasgow weather. Quite like the clouds and stuff. 
Much better than uh, DTGs, I think. Well, I might take that back. I don't know. They're not uh, terrible, that's for sure. They look pretty good. So again, I think there. Probably these can Kuju assets once again. Kuju warehouse on the left. And uh, I'm going to get triggered in a minute. Pre-warning. Pre-warning pre there. I am about to get pretty triggered. I've overstepped the, uh, the... I've gone past the marker there. We're not at West... We're not West Coast Mainline South levels are triggered though. That's one thing. But I don't think it's possible to reach those levels are triggered though. Although DTG do like to surprise us. Um... I can't remember how this looked in the um, freeware version. They're nice. So they're custom uh, made. The lamps. I'm not a fan of those down the down, down the back there. It's a complete lack of detail on them. That's tiling terribly. And again, it's a a really sort of important station on the route Dunbarton Central. It's where the branch to Ballot goes off. It's where you go to Helens, but it's obviously where pretty much all the trains will stop. Payware route in 2020 and a station of this size. I don't I don't mind the Kuju on the smaller stations. We'll get that set straight now. I actually don't mind that so much. I can live with it. Don't love it, but I can live with it. I don't know about this. This is this for me is not sitting well. It's just Kuju. And that's again it's that comes down to Rivet not investing in it. Because I imagine if you did this as a, as a, from my experience of seeing our guys do it, or people I've been, I know do it, it'd take you a few days to do this, but um, as for a one person job. And again, if you've got no, if you can't say, oh, it's COVID, you can't get research, I'm pretty sure on Flicky you'll find enough photos to uh, do a reasonable job. I'd rather have something that's not necessarily accurate but looks good than. Than this, this, this to me is just poor. And the reason I say that is these are the buildings that were in Oxford to Paddington back in 2007 8. They're not assets that you, you, I mean, the, yeah, some of them, the canopy's kind of technically textured. I can't think of many payware developers these days that are still relying on those assets to get them by. Um, and then we get a lovely custom signal box by the locks down here. I think it's custom. I won't say it's necessarily lovely, but it, it looks good, reasonable. And again, the details, you know, relatively good. Pretty decent. All the sort of things you look for there, the clutter, the you know, neat foliage. The vein. Apparently I didn't allow the passengers to board or something. Um But yeah, I mean, it's it's just a disappointment that we don't have a custom station, for instance, at Dunbarton. Same with Helensburg. I'm trying to find uh, from the again from the TS point of view of somebody that's been around for a long time. I'm trying to find a, a positive thing to say about that station. I can't, and I'd love to. I can't. From the point of view again of somebody that's just this is there. So this is let's say you're watching this video. You never bought a train simulator product in your life. Go for it. You might love it. But I don't think anybody that knows Dunbarton Central really is going to look at that and say that is Dunbarton Central. Bang on, hundred percent. Certainly not if you then did a custom model. Then it'd be night and day difference. I'm sure it would. Especially with the quality that the guys at Rivet have. You know, they wouldn't make a, a really poor asset. They'd make a, a damn good station model. Some of the best around. So, there's absolutely no doubt that they've got it in their, you know, in their locker to do it. And a station like this using Kuju, I can, I can um, cope with that. Just fine, to be honest. 
I'm not going to sin from the hilltops and say it's fantastic, but I can live with it. Certainly if you're on a budget and that's the sort of thing you have to do to make your budget and we've just gone straight through the station, but if that's what you have to do to make your budget is to make this kuju. Then fine, got a little bit of a Z fighting going on down there. I mean, I'm looking from here and most of these assets are over 10 years old, 13 years old. There's some nice houses there. Hello to low res again, but they, they look okay. And these are the sort of things, again, that you sort of look at from a payware point of view and a freeware point of view. When it was freeware, that's fantastic. When it's payware, you look at it from a point of view of not quite so. Oh, I've done this again. I'm fed up, but I can't seem to bloody disable that, no matter what I do. I'm going to have to do this whole thing again of turn the train off. There we go. Closing the doors. Next up, Jordan Hill. We are a few minutes late. Ten miles to Jordan Hill, though. We've got quite a way to go there. So we've got ten miles to the next stop now. We've got stops left. Jordan Hill, Partick, Charing Cross, Glasgow Queen Street. I'm looking forward to seeing Glasgow Queen Street low level. That I am looking forward to. Because I've seen the uh, video that Vivid did and that looked quite decent, so I'm uh, excited to see that. As I said before, scenery wise, uh, hats off. Really good. The tree changes worked wonders because that's changed it. And by not being the merge tree anymore, obviously it's going to be a lot more stable because it hasn't got all that extra tracking. The biggest problem I had with the freeware merge tree was the instability of it at times. Obviously, if it goes back to being free, part of a freeware network, then it'll have to overturn. Um, but that's something you just put with. It is nice from a standalone point of view to see this um, route and be able to play it as it should be played without any sort of instability. And again, it's nice to have it as a standalone as well. I don't require anything else to play this. With the original one, you've acquired to download stuff from a few places. I own stuff from a few places, and uh, obviously, from that point of view, it's fantastic that you can just get it as a standalone. You can see the. Uh, can't remember what the name of the bridge is down there. But you can see it. <laughs> it's not an area I know massively well. Yeah, really heavy rain now. But yeah, as we're coming around it, it's capturing the atmosphere. Certainly capturing the atmosphere of sort of the uh, Clyde Valley. Going on the Clyde side. Um, and I'm enjoying it. Apart from the little bits that got me triggered, I've enjoyed it so far. And I think, again, it's worth making that point that I've got upset about Dunbarton Central and I got upset about Ellensburg Central, but otherwise, I think it's okay. We'll see as we go along what my final summaries are, but... Certainly for a new customer that never had the freeware route, I don't see people having any complaint at all with this. You know, from the new, very new customer point of view, that doesn't understand why we get upset about Kuju and stuff like that. That's nice. I like that. The upturned boats and stuff. Properly good. And with the uh, the bridge over the top there. Yeah, that's good. Like it. Like it a lot. Don't like that Kuju bridge. I've not liked that for about 10 years, so... 
No, new there. But yeah, it's really uh, sort of capturing the atmosphere. I'm seeing like the Kuju cars and stuff, it's all a little bit meh there. And a lot of the buildings have got low vest textures if you go up close to them, but from the cab, at uh, this point of view, uh, they look really uh, fine. Quite a steep climb now. So six miles to Jordan Hill, which is our next stop. Oh, what's that say? Kilpatrick Station, 1,000 yards. So we'll probably do another video to visit the various branches and stuff. Hopefully some more scenarios appear. Again, the lack of a 3-3-4 is a bit of an issue with some of those scenarios, but... Um, have a little look. I mean, I'm not sure what this building is, but it's not... A, it's not Certainly not been designed for the station, shall we say. Um, looks alright. Got that awful bridge up there, but the scenery wise, other than that, looks decent. Really good. You can tell it's been lovingly built. That's the that's the thing I'm looking for here, is can I tell it's been built with a lot of care and attention it has. For me, I can still see the sort of things where you sort of can tell it was a few route in terms of how it's been put together. Making do with things that you wouldn't normally make do with if it was a pay route. You know, getting by, kit bashing. And again, these are the sort of things you look at and say, well, if Rivet Games had done this from new, would they have done it like that? And I think you question it and say, well, probably not. But then if this is Rivet Games as just a published route by them, then I suppose maybe they don't take that uh, um, criticism sort of thing, I don't know. I mean, it's capturing the atmosphere again here. It's they're all, as I've said before, they're all a bit low res and blah 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 blah. Captures the atmosphere, and that's what you're looking for in a route. So this has had some. I don't know. I watched bits of the uh, developer video. So this has had some custom bits uh, added on. The bridge, being one of them, which is uh, reasonable, pretty good. So this station looks, uh, it's got the platforms of pants with the original Kuju platforms still on there, but the, uh, with just a bit of e-texturing going on. The station otherwise, the wall down the back, don't know why the textures are so low res, but otherwise it looks pretty good. Um, this is a sort of level of quality you'd be at least looking for. And there's, some, there's still kit bashing going on, but... It's acceptable level of kit bashing. I'm quite sure I the four sign is different close to the five sign, but that's really like I'm gonna keep pressing the wrong button. Really sort of um, clutching at straws. So I'm gonna dive under here to go under the other line and uh, head down towards Yoka. Looking forward to seeing Yoka Depot. So that's a Kuju tunnel that's been retextured, but it looks alright. Your new user again is not going to notice that. And that's the key thing. I mean, if I ask myself if I'm enjoying this drive, then yeah. I, I am really, to be honest.
But then I always enjoyed the original view anyway, so why wouldn't I? I just think you've got to put that thing to the back of the mind that it used to be freeware. But, to me, 20 quid's not the end of the world, and I'd have gladly paid 20 quid for, you know, just to Ian personally for the freeware route. I think it's the Vivid Games side of things where you sort of look and say, play the game sort of thing, but... Um, Published routes are different, aren't they? I mean, at the end of the day with JT, published routes are different. Southwestern Expressway has been one of those. Uses bits of Kuju here and there. And quite a lot of bits of Kuju, actually. Not a route I necessarily like, to clarify. This is much better. For, for me, this is much better than such as that. Far better. Yellow. So yeah, all these stations are feeling okay as we're going through. I'm not looking at them and like, whoa, look, that's bad. That's not, no, not all. This is Yoka Depot coming up, I think. So from that point of view, it's just pretty decent. As, as I said, the only things really so far, Dumbarton Central and Nellensburg Central are the two that I've sort of thought, meh. Well, a bit worse than meh. So Yoko Depot is looking quite decent in there. Plenty of tracks and stuff. I assume there's no buildings here in real life. I think I actually prefer the track texture in here to the track texture out there. It's all well laid and everything. It's uh, you've, It looks rather good. Whether there should be more detail in here, I don't know. I don't know the place, so I couldn't tell you. Oh, got a building over here, look. Presumably some sort of staff building, so that's nice. And these platforms are quite cool as well. But yeah, this is where, so I'll say, you can see how much work's gone into this. You can see the detail in here and the banking and everything. And how everything's been slotted together, it's good. Chasing some yellows, which is nice. Two miles to Jordan Mill. A big red footbridge in front by locks. This must be presumably Yoka Station. I admit I don't really know Glasgow very well. I've been through quite a few times this area, but. Not an area I particularly know well. Oh, cool. That's nice. So that's a nice little touch, because a lot of the Scottish stations do have these little trains on, so um, that's nice to see that done, especially with the way the flowers have been put in. So hats off for that. There's gas to stations. I said I didn't know Glasgow. Um, the little lift building here, I don't know if that's custom. I'm guessing it is. It looks, it looks pretty well, but lift building, not lift building. I don't know what it is. Just a little building. Um, and the footbridge. Decent. Not going to blow the world away, but it's decent. And yeah, it's, it looks... You look at that and that looks really quite good, doesn't it? So, I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. And again, as a first-time TS player playing this, first-time player with this route, I think at this point you're probably getting blown away by it. It's really good. Definitely. It resembles the place it's trying to be down here at least it's how I think it would be I mean I don't know what it looks like if it lies. I could be talking absolute garbage no station as I said as I said to somebody before that it would have been nice to have seen some more footbridges like this keeps in the same old Kuju footbridge uh, used everywhere 
There's only pond there. Actually, that's pretty close to the original bridge. Uh, the actual bridge. So if that's the case, then fair enough. I don't. I don't honestly know myself, but. So this is Scott's Janil. Probably just murdered the pronunciation of that. Looks all right. Seen this bridge quite a few times now, but it's a, it's a decent bridge model. I can live with it. Some floodlights up ahead. Is that a football ground or something? Not entirely sure what that is. Ground stadium or something, perhaps? Go have a look. So, this is a reskinned asset, and this is where it can work. This is where you can use a reskinned asset and get away with it. I have absolutely no complaints with the fat ass reskin. The, the track's very poor, really. It's low, low res, but again, I'm up here in the cab. I don't really care. It looks, it looks okay from up here. And that's how I sort of see that. We had a yellow there, should probably slow down. Yellow now. That gives us the road into Jordan Hill Station, so can get back up to speed a bit. Kuju Nasty's on the left. Oh, the vein's finally stopping. Have I been tripped there by a? But I've been tripped by um. TPWS there because I came in a bit quick, didn't I? Hopefully that will release the brakes eventually. Very quiet here, isn't it? Weird, it's all like sound drums half across the station, half not. Um, so these are farm buildings that have been used for a station building. I don't know what it looks like in real life, so I can't really say much, but it looks. It just looks. You're never going to blow anybody's, you know, mind with this, really. At the same time, I can't really say it's terrible because it's not. So it just sort of exists, uh, sort of exists, really. Uh, my brakes are stuck on that. Also exists. Still got a red signal. I've been given a red signal there before the. Uh, Right away, I've been given, and I still, I still can't get the brakes off. There we go, got them off this time. So yeah, we got a, uh, a thing saying about the passengers boarding, but then we didn't get told. So we shut the doors ourselves, I suppose. So it doesn't really matter that much. I got double yellow now. So this is where the line comes across from Westerton here, and you can go to Milne Guy. So. Good, good bit of a network there. Now 
going to stop Partick in about a mile. Funky looking footbridge. Now I guess that this is this is Ireland, so maybe this is uh Add a bit more investment in it. Look at the bridges and stuff. So I'm guessing this is all custom built. And it stands out. So you look at this and this look at the platforms and everything. It just stands out. This this is this looks now payware. It doesn't look like somebody's trying to do the very best they can with a freeware product. This looks properly commercial. With the platforms and stuff. I mean the textures are still pretty low, but the the they're, they're fine enough. I can live with it. Definitely live with it, and it's it's yeah, it looks good, really, really pretty decent. Subway goes down here. You can not you can't see the end of it, so that's good. Um, yeah, all round, pretty impressed. Look at that, it's, that's good. Yeah, this is impressive then. Probably the best station I've seen so far. Which I shouldn't be saying, having left Helen's been gone through Dumbarton, but so be it. But if a job like that can be done on that station, why wasn't this job like that done on Helen's Boo? Is what I'll say. Like in this scenario, where with the. So I'll chase in the yellows, that's good. Seeing a Kuju monstrosity right in front of us next to the truck there. With the amount of time these low res buildings have been used, I'd like to have seen those um, represented better. These tenement things. And again, we've got some custom stuff going on here, which is nice. It seems. At Partick, yeah, looks like it. God, that was some loud noises. Again, I prefer, I prefer to drive the AP 321, 320. And that's not exactly a great dream, but... Okay, so I'll make a point here in a second. Um, so this is really good. Not really good, but it's, it's, the glass is only one, one way, but you don't look at it from that side, really, if you're driving. Um, yeah, that's all been done as a custom asset. It's not the most detailed thing in the world, but it's it's there. Um, then you got this wall. That's Kuju. And I think, again, at the point of view, the point to make is that Kuju is not necessarily like, you don't see it in the room and go, oh, that's the end of the world, oh, I can't believe it. If it's over here, even those where well, I a Kuju, but if it's over here somewhere, it's like, yeah, okay, that's Kuju, yeah, whatever, don't care, it's, it's over there. But when it's right on a station, I don't know, I just, it just doesn't, doesn't do anything for me. Really doesn't do anything for me for the view. And the, the amount of times that these are getting used with the, the black views and everything... Just let it down a bit. I mean, you can, again, you can, once again, you can see the detail that's gone into the, you know, the root building work side of it. The workmanship is uh, next second to none, really. It's, it's top level. Really top level. Hearing the same ambient sound, the one ambient sound, sort of, just in certain areas. And then you can see the Scottish, uh, the exhibition centre down there. Looking good. Oh, not again. I don't want to disable that crap. See if it'll let us go anyway. I'll try. Next stop, then Charing Cross for us. It's not going to release the brakes, is it? There we go. Just wait for the brakes to come off and then we can set off again.
Maybe that's not on, that's why I can't go. There we go. Yeah, next stop, Charing Cross in just over a mile. So we go down underneath Glasgow City Centre soon. So I'm looking forward to seeing that. Hopefully there's been plenty of investment down there in the, and in the main part of the city. So it's quite a steep downhill. I know that round here. Seeing the, uh, the Kuju asset block repeated quite a lot on the other side of the river over there. Uh, Got to really look to see it though. Once again, from the point of view of somebody that's just this is their first day on this route and they've never seen it in train sim before and they're not very experienced in train sim. Superb, I think. That's how I'd see it. If this was my first time ever playing this and whatnot. So that. Uh, Exhibition sensors new. That looks good. Up there on the horizon. Nice detail on the track here. Don't know, is that a neutral section? I don't know if I actually saw any signs for that neutral section. Or whatever it is, I'm not sure what it is to be honest. So yeah, this is exhibition centre. So that's had a good bit of detail put in. Nice. What station is this? Exhibition Centre State. Well, wood building it. So yeah, looking at this one. Mm, yeah, this one upsets me again. It's it's poor. It's poor. That Kuji wall, the Kuji bridges. I mean, the exhibition centre looks fantastic, and then you get just lumps with Kuju. If you're going to do the exhibition centre, do the station, please. With it, would be nice. Um, there's a lot of classing textures and stuff. It's all a bit messy down here for a payaway route. Again, freeware. You've got to put up, put up, you know, with freeware as it was. You've got to cope with what you've got. You've got a kit bash, a lot of stuff, and from a freeware point of view, that's that's fine. As a payware route, um, doesn't uh, satisfy me really. That I don't even know if a new person would see that and think that's exhibition centre station straight off. I think it looks amazing. Maybe the wood. I don't think the wood. Bit of Z fighting there. This looks okay. Not spectacular, but it looks. Uh, Reasonable. The tunnel decal is a bit far out of the tunnel mouth, I noticed there. So we're coming into Charing Cross, which is between two tunnels, I believe. Looking at the uh, thing down there. Not that I actually really know, because I don't really know the area. Very dark in here, because the AP lights don't come on until night time, so I can't see anything at the moment. Literally nothing, because we're on a curve, I guess, as well. Well, the AP lights are on, I just can't see anything. <laughs> Apparently we're almost in the station, so should be able to see something. Yeah, you can see the curve that we're on, though. Ooh, this looks... Uh, this doesn't look Kuja at all, this looks pretty good. From what I can see of it at the moment. I'm liking how this looks. Yeah, this this is uh, pretty good. You can tell with the texture and everything that it's a new asset. seem to be much clutter on the stations, that's one thing I'll say. Just benches and stuff like that, maybe there isn't much in real life, it doesn't go anywhere, but it doesn't need to. Yeah, the quality of it's good. Not much out here. But, uh, 
I can, uh, again, I have no issue with that really. Signs are nice, the texture's not really pixelating much. It has that feel of being in the underbelly of Glasgow. I bet that breaks things happened again. And it doesn't seem to have. Close the doors. So Queen Street lower level next. I'm looking forward to that. As well, since oh, this looks good. One would assume that Queen Street would look good as well. Uh, we got about eight minutes left to get to... Uh, about ten minutes left to get to Springburn. Fairly long video again. It's over an hour. We'll have a look at the high level station whilst we're here as well. So we've got Queen Street, then we've got High Street as well, just afterwards. So this is probably where a lot of the investment's gone into these three stations, or these, certainly these two, I would imagine. Doesn't mean that points that I made earlier don't stand anymore. Because I would love to have seen Dumbarton done to these standards and Helensburg because these are really, again, look, looking at this as we're coming in, looking really good. Oh, the three car stop signs on the wall, I didn't see that. So yeah, this has had a big transformation from the original route. Yeah, this is... Uh, Top-notch work. So this is what you expect from a, a, a payware route. And if... I think if the whole route had been done to this standard, the freeware, payware, and all that sort of carnage wouldn't have happened. And I think that'll die down in time anyway, because naturally it does, but... Um, some little platform things going on there. Yeah, this, this is decent. I mean, you look at it, it looks really good, so... Uh, bit of top marks, that's impressive. I like it. like it. Yeah, well put together. So yeah, you got the high, uh, the high level station up here. Now... I have no idea if anything's actually been done with this, to be honest, if it's been changed at all since the original station. I have a feeling it looks a bit better than it used to look. And I like all the ticket barriers, so I don't know if they are there to... Because to, this originally came from the... Um, Glasgow to Edinburgh, that would have been nice to see. That actually improved a little bit, but... Um, if it is the original, it certainly stood up very well. I can't honestly remember, though. But I know people have been making the point about they haven't done the wires in here and stuff like that. Well, if the route's set in 2020, then that's certainly a valid point, is why haven't they done the wires in here? It depends when the route's set, I guess. If the route was set before they did the wires, and it certainly looks like it's set then because they've, they've not uncovered the front of the station. In real life, they've taken a lot of this stuff down, I think, now. So if it's set when the wires weren't there, then it's set when the wires weren't there. There's not really like any complaint from me there. You know, I'll buy, I'll buy other routes from other rivers, and I have no issue with those, so... Yeah, that's very poor texture in there for 2020. I feel like that could have been redone. I suppose maybe looking at this, it hasn't had anything done to it. But it looks it looks uh, good in here, doesn't it? It's not like... It doesn't look like it came from 20, 2007, like, you know, such as been done about and do. It's pretty decent. So we've got a, a few seconds here, so I'll just have another look. Yeah, it's... Uh, it's good, is this? This bit? The whole route's yeah, been quite good, actually. Just the odd bit that, for me, um, soured it.
think it just needed a bit more investment from the Rivet side in terms of assets. Is my takeaway from this. Let me shut the doors, that's why we're not moving. So next stop's High Street, that's only half a mile so it's not long. And then we've got Springburn. Last stop, so we're sort of going around the south end of the city. Raining again. Yeah, so we're going around the south end of the city at the minute. They've got the weather occlusions in, by the way, which is good. And then we go to Springburn, which is up here. Just half a mile to High Street. We'll see if that's custom as well. Hope it is. So you can tell that the, a lot of the investment that has been made has been put in the city part of the route which is fair enough that's where a lot of people are going to look again it doesn't really mean you don't put it in the other parts though A sharp curve into High Street. Hmm, this one doesn't look quite as much custom going on by the looks because that wall's one that's been used everywhere. We'll see. Platform looks like the usual fare. Bridge might be. Yeah, this one doesn't capture the same sort of ambience. And those walls in front are all piled on top of each other. Down here. Again, look, that, that bit again looks freeware when you compare it to what we've just seen inside there. That footbridge looks like it's new. That's good. Um, presumably that building as well. Yeah, stuff like those walls on top of each other, though, is obviously a, a thing that's existed, left over from the freeway route. For God's sake. I'm not used to closing doors on stuff. So, final stop then, Springburn, three miles, six minute journey. I just wish we had the 334 to complete this and the 318 for that matter as well, but the 334 in particular. It'd be nice if we were to do that or AFP or anybody else for that matter, it'd be good. Because it, it would be a big gap fill because we're getting a lot of Glasgow stuff and I, I've got a sneaky feeling. Given the suffix of this route, suburban Glasgow northwest, I've got a sneaky feeling this won't be the last we see of suburban Glasgow um, from Rivet. Especially with the Scottish ties that they've got, one would imagine that they'll do more Scottish stuff. Which I'm all for, I just wish there was a little bit more investment. You know, those two stations would have, would make a big difference. Uh, Dumbarton and um, Ellensborough. That would have made a big difference. For sure. So we're not stopping at this station. I reckon there can be a lot of a lot of fun had with this route. So we're turning off again here to the left and then going round Duke Street. This sort of, I don't think it was this. I don't know if I've ever done this route myself in TS. Driving, you know, driving along it. So this should be good. I guess that's the warning for a signal that we're coming up to. A lot of this is DTG and Kuju assets are mashed together. Um, 
Would have been nice to have seen a couple of new lofts made to suit this coin better. Just better quality, even. I mean, these stations are pretty bland, but then maybe they are in real life. My favourite church again. But you can't assign every church in the game. Steep climb with this bit. So yeah, the stations sort of all look the same, don't they? I mean, it's it's just the same sort of repeated thing. Would have been nice to have new textures, considering how much those textures are used. It would have been nice to have seen higher res and whatever used on that side of things. Um, once again, I say I keep I kept saying it, but the the root builder side, um, as we know with Ian, we knew anyway it was going to be good from that side, so it's no surprise. But it is really good, and the updates in terms of the trees and the foliage and the way everything's sort of been done there. Very impressed with that. Yeah, that's good. So I'm going to come into Springburn in a minute. Kuju Bridge. Quite a long one in 70 climb this, climbing up out of the city. It's obviously doing this the same climb sort of up the hill to uh, Eastfield from Glasgow to Queen Street, just at a longer sort of wider angle. But yeah, there's certainly a lot of stations and stuff on this line, there's a lot that can be done with it, scenario wise. Test train scenario something would be quite good to see. On these routes. Obviously, because we've only got the northwest bit at the moment, we are a little bit limited. But if you just want to go around northwest Glasgow, you're fine. I'll probably do a video to the other stations, Milngai and uh, Balak, at some point. I haven't obviously looked at those in this video. Could go and have a quick look when we stop here. Actually, go and fly around an editor. This has been a pretty good scenario. Doesn't tell you in the manual. I can't see what it tells me how many scenarios there is. Just trying to see. Uh, six career scenarios. So you get six career scenarios. Not a massive amount, but it it covers the route sufficiently. And there's a couple with a one five eight, and the others with a three twenty. Passengers are all over the place here. Uh, apparently, I might have done a TP rest there or something. Right, let's pause the game. Have a little look around Springburn. We'll go and have a look then at... Oh, we've got no trap line going on there. Um, don't know if there should be wires on these platforms or not in the area of its base, to be honest. Um, yeah, that's not amazing. So Springburn's a little bit of a, a disappointment, I think. Again, it's all kit-bashed. There's a pretty major five, yeah, four-platform station. Would have been nice to have seen that being done as custom as well. Let's have a little fly then in editor mode. Let's have a fly to... Well, let's go to Eastfield first, see what the depot looks like there. That's just up here. Pretty low detail. Building's there, but the actual area is low detail. I don't know how useful it is, really. It would be useful with 156 is to do the Helen, you know, stuff as far as Helensburg. ECS off the depot and stuff, but you can use it. It's not, it's not unusable like that. Again, as I said before, that platform texture on the front there is just shocking for 2020. Alright, let's go up here. We'll have a look at Mungai first. Oh, 
wait for it to load in. Um, and then we'll finish the video back where we was a bit loud, ambient sound. So there's bits of old stuff going on with the fencing and stuff. I'm hoping this is loading in a, a fully custom thing. I think it is from what I saw in the video. Yeah, it has. So it would have been nice to have seen custom platforms. It doesn't take that long to do those when they're, to, you know, when they're done after track export. But the station here is, you can tell it's uh, the custom, and the reason you can tell that is because it's not clickable. That's a, that's a Thompson rivet thing where they make it so you can't actually press their assets for whatever reason. Um, but yeah, the actual look of it's pretty decent. It's custom, that's that's ticks the box straight away, doesn't it? So it's it's good. Like it captures the atmosphere. Let's have a look at Ballot. So we'll just look at the two terminus. I'm not going to go. I wouldn't expect them to do all the stations on the um, branch, especially based on what we've seen so far. I certainly wouldn't, but uh, I wouldn't anyway. I don't think just bits maybe. Certainly, if there's any notable buildings. So this is Ballock Station. Hoping this again. Maybe not custom. I can click it. So Blunt Tire Station. So it's the Blunt Tire model. Reused, but it looks okay. I mean, it's acceptable, certainly. So that's that's all right. Uh, certainly captures the atmosphere there. So let's just go back to. I oh, would just stay here. Go back to Ellensburg. End where we started uh, in editor view. So we've just seen those. We've seen Charing Cross. We've seen Glasgow Cringe. So let's go back and have a look at Ellensburg and reflection again. That it's you know not amazing. Um, just waiting for it all to load in. So, in summary, I mean, it's quite a complicated, comp <laughs> complicated, a complicated word to say. Apparently, it's a complicated route to summarise because of the the sort of nature of it. First of all, let's let's say from a. A first time player, you've never seen this route in your life, you didn't know the freeway one existed. You didn't you know you this is what you've seen for the first time today. Or when you've bought it or whatever. I think this is decent. Twenty five quid including when it goes to twenty five quid on the fifth of November, bear in mind twenty till then. But twenty five quid RRP. You get the three twenty included if you didn't own that already, so obviously if you're new to T S you wouldn't. You get the the one five eight as well. Twenty five quid, forty three stations, your forty five mile network, I think it is. Uh, decent value. It's very well made. If you're not going to look at this, you know, if you're not going to look at this, that doesn't look exactly like Ellensburg, then fair enough, whatever. I think from the point of view of us that knew the freeway one existed, that had the freeway route, that loved the freeway route, I feel like had the freeway route remained, and it's all based off that line where it says, oh, this route will be free and always will be, and all this stuff, it'd have been nice to have just seen that remain unsupported, if it breaks, it breaks. If it dumps, it dumps, and all that, you know, blab. Um, just leave it there, unsupported. If people want to buy this route, I'd probably buy this route, especially if this gets merged into a, eventually a fully payware like suburban Glasgow network. I'd buy it. Twenty quid to me, I can, I can, I will pay for this. But what, what, what puts me off is this here, this, this for instance here at Helensburgh. So I was, I love the freeway route. I've enjoyed this today. And I have no issue with paying 20 quid, 25 quid even, if that means that Ian then gets a bit of money back because that bloke has worked amazingly hard and he deserves the money. But we deserve a custom model of Helensborough Central Station by putting the money in, I believe. I think we deserve a custom model of Dunbarton Central Station. We've got the great models of Glasgow Queen Street low level, we've got Charing Cross and a couple of others, but it needed a bit more investment, I think, from Rivet. I think at 20 quid... If you're not going to get upset about what oh, used to be freeway and all this stuff, then go for it. I've enjoyed my drive. Obviously, some people don't just just won't buy it because it used to be freeway, and I think that's fair enough. Because maybe they just don't they don't like the the sort of stigma. They just don't want to, and I think that's something you got to look at when you when you go from freeway to payway. That is just a part a part of the thing. I think if it had been left as a freeway route as well, then obviously you wouldn't have that issue. 
Um, but it's when you're looking at stuff like this, and this does not look payware quality. I can't see much difference here. There's bits of difference, but there's not much between the freeware boot and the payware boot. This should have been a big selling point of the boot. Ratings out of 10. I think for a new user... Eight, probably, for a new user. I think for uh, an experienced user, because of the oversight on some of the Kuju assets, I think it's probably a six, six slash, slash seven. Easy for me to say, six slash. Oh, for Christ's sake, six or seven. I think if it had had a bit more investment, in the stations I've mentioned uh, and a few other assets, then it would have been definitely been an eight. Uh, certainly putting the freeware blah blah thing aside uh, 8 going on maybe even a 9 it's it's really well made I mean the detailing work the actual root building side and I'll show you here just instances of it it's really really nice it's just the thing that, that used to be freeware is going to get that tarnished because of it, the fact that it used to be it's simple as that That's, it's just how it's going to be that's what happens when you go from freeware to payware but anyway, I have enjoyed my drive on it, and uh, certainly by the bits I've might have found, the, um, otherwise I've enjoyed it. But thanks very much for watching, guys. I appreciate you uh, follows, your likes, your comments as always. Thanks very much for watching. Tom's used to live various days, twitch.tv, forward slash train team underscore TV. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you get notified when we put new videos up. Thanks as always for watching guys. Cheers very much. See you later. Bye.